So this video is going to be about life histories. So what is a life history? A life history is going to be the traits that affect an organism's schedule of reproduction and the ability of that organism to survive. So life histories are really diverse and a lot of the time they depend on when reproduction begins, so what age that uh, process begins at, how often that organism can reproduce, and then how many offspring that organism typically has per reproductive cycle. And so there are trade-offs in life histories. So for example, if an organism produces a whole lot of offspring in one reproductive cycle, then there's going to be less resources available for the parent to devote to each offspring. So you can think about it as if um, you are in a class of 500 students, then the teacher is going to have less resources to give to individual students and less time to give to those individual students than a teacher would in a class of only 10 students. And so that's one way you can kind of think of um, that trade-off in life histories. So we can characterize histories in two ways. Um, and so this is the survivorship curve over here that we saw in uh, a previous video. And so the two ways we characterize life histories are going to be case selection and R selection. So case selection is going to be the selection for life history traits that are sensitive to population density. And so it's also called density dependent selection. So organisms that have uh, that are case selected are going to be things like humans. And so with case selected species, you're going to produce few amounts of offspring but those offspring are going to require a lot of parental attention um, and energy from the parents. And so they tend to have higher rates of survival earlier on in the lifespan. And then we have our selected species, which is going to be a selection for life history traits that maximize reproductive success in uncrowded environments. And so this is going to be called density independent selection. And so with our selected species, we're going to produce a large number of offspring, um, but give them very little parental care, very little guidance, and so a lot of them are going to um, die, and most won't survive. But the reason that uh, our selected species do this is that they uh, know that if they produce a high enough number of offspring, then even with predation and competition um, and whatever else is causing those offspring to die, some of their offspring will survive and then be able to pass on those genes to the next generation. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.